Looks good, right? So today we will make a special recipe because I am using some ingredients that I've never used before. And those are green beans and Brussels sprouts. <laughs> now, don't turn it off right now. Wait till you see what we're going to make with it. We'll start by mixing up 500 gram of pork sausage and 500 gram of minced pork. We want to take this sausage out of its casing. Just take it out like so. And I'm using 50-50 pork sausage and minced pork because the pork sausage is already seasoned. And we also want to add our own seasoning, so we'll just take half and half. I have these small oven trays here, two of them. And we will line these oven trays with a little bit of foil. Now we'll put in a little bit of the minced pork and the stuffing of the pork sausage, just a layer. This is going to be the outside of our meatloaf. It should look a bit like this and the liner is about a quarter inch thick. So now we'll start stuffing these and this is where the fun part starts because my kids don't particularly love Brussels sprouts and well to be honest neither do I. So what we're going to do is make them taste good in this awesome meatloaf. I boiled them for around five minutes and we're going to place these on top. And of course we want to make them look good. The only seasoning that I added to these Brussels sprouts is a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Now, of course you guys don't really like Brussels sprouts much, but put some cheese on top. I got here a mix of cheddar and mozzarella cheese and it will really start oozing in all those nooks and crannies and make the bitterness of the Brussels sprouts go away. Now we'll add some bell peppers, because I like the colors, you don't have to add bell peppers, but I really like a little bit of red in there. Now this is some magic. I got here some red onions, which I sliced and then softened. I added uh, a little bit of balsamic vinegar and a little bit of sugar, and we'll add that on top. And then we'll add strips of bacon. <laughs> I told you this was gonna be a real tasty dish. Nice and crunchy. That will add a lot of flavor as well. And then to finish it off, a little bit of green beans. And then we really want to press it. We really want all these ingredients to fit. And we'll use the leftover of the minced meat to close off the gap. This doesn't have to be the perfect closure because this will be the bottom of our dish. So these are the meatloaves and they're looking good, right? But we're not yet done. I got some planks here some setter planks. I soaked them in water for about an hour and a half and now here comes the trick because we want to have a meatloaf which we will be able to smoke. So we'll put this upside down like so, give it one last push and we take off the foil. There we go. Now is that a beauty or what? <laughs> Some of the juices are running out and that's great because we want the juices to come out because also we want the flavor of the setup plank to go up. I got here Smokehouse Barbecue from barbecueguru.nl. Nice all-purpose rub. Just sprinkle it on for a little bit of color. So these are ready to go on the barbecue. And I got here the Napoleon Rogue. And this is the first time I have it in one of my videos for a recipe. So I just want to introduce it to you guys. This is a real nice in-between grill. Real quality build and a real product that is very versatile and can do about anything that you want it to do. I just heated it up. We want to set the temperature to around 180 degrees Celsius, which is 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll put the planks in. One, two. Keep this in for around an hour or so. We gotta keep looking at that setter plank though, because if it starts burning, we want to put the planks over indirect heat so they'll stop burning. So the meatloaves are done. They look absolutely insane. You can see by the cheese that is oozing out that they're absolutely cooked to perfection. And we'll just serve our meatloaf on a plank like that. 
The meatloaf looks gorgeous, but we're not done yet. I got a little bit of crispy bacon here, which I really want to crispen up even further and just until it's completely fine and you can sprinkle it on top. Now it's time to dress up our meatloaf. We'll start with a little bit of onion. This onion is sweet and sour at the same time and it tastes delicious. So why not put some of it on top? It's like whipped cream on your apple pie. Then of course I still have a little bit of barbecue rub which I can sprinkle on. And then the crispy bacon. And now I have to slice it. It's something magical. Having veggies in your meatloaf, real Brussels sprouts in your meatloaf, nobody will believe that if you're feeding them Brussels sprouts it will taste good. But if you do it like this, they will be amazed. They will be asking for more, I assure you. Give it a try. See you guys next time. Cheers.